Number 7 Numerology The number 7 is the seeker, the thinker, the searcher of truth, notice the capital T. The 7 doesn't take anything at face value, it is always trying to understand the underlying, hidden truths. The 7 knows that nothing is exactly as it seems and that reality is often hidden behind illusions. A person who has a chart dominated by the 7 is usually easily picked out of a group. He will be somewhat introverted, perhaps shy, not to be confused with low self-esteem, never truly comfortable in social settings. The 7 is the intellectual, but his intellect is not always obvious, especially at an early age. As a child, Einstein was dyslexic and not particularly bright or a good student. His intelligence is that of a dreamer, an intellectual explorer of the obscure, the person who tends to have a somewhat offbeat perspective on the world around him. Many are interested in the metaphysical, not because they are believers, but because it allows access to the ambiguous, abstract world of questions for which there are no clear answers. The seven is spiritual, but not religious. In fact, the age-old questions of what life is all about, why are we here, who am I, and so forth, never reach the status of cliches. But are essential to the seven's life experience, and unless he finds the answers he will not stop looking for them until he dies. The seven can be aloof, hates gossip and is immune to small-minded backstabbing. Money means nothing to him and he will never make a choice or a decision based on an expected financial outcome. There is a dry, usually misunderstood sense of humor to the seven, yet he is unable to remember a single joke. He is not jovial and never superficial. He has excellent taste and a natural love and understanding of art. He dislikes and completely ignores fashion, and is attracted to eccentric, unpopular people. The popular, beautiful, but shallow people bore him to no end. He is not usually interested in politics but has a strong sense of justice. The seven is physically lanky and tall, but not athletic and doesn't care about sports. Sevens are not warriors, but you may find some people with the seven dominating their charts in the military, most likely as analysts or strategic planners. More often, however, you will find them in the world of academics and science. Police detectives, laboratory researchers and other careers where logical, methodical analysis of facts are the main requirements of the job. Sevens are opinionated and tend to know something about everything, which can be annoying. They are not always honest, often choosing a more interesting truth than the actual truth. Many people are uncomfortable around a seven due to penetrating eyes and the sense that even when he seems to be listening, he is actually analyzing the shape of your eyes and the crevices of your earlobes. The seven tends to be a loner. Women with dominant sevens are often beautiful, if you can get past the granny glasses and the carelessly chosen clothes. They don't like to fuss in front of the mirror, but can be very charming and will take on a room full of men in any discussion. Completely unconscious of the fact that many of them have something completely different in mind. On the negative side, the seven can be cynical, verbally abusive, arrogant and oblivious of the pain and suffering of others. They can be cold-hearted and cruel showing a lack of empathy. Other people's problems simply don't interest them, yet when it comes to their own troubles, they expect everyone to feel for them. They are terrible and demanding patience, exasperating know-it-alls and just plain inconsiderate and boorish. They can be selfish and antisocial. What is unique about the seven is that his, or her, mind is his greatest tool and, at the same time, his greatest limitation. Rational, flexible and hungry for knowledge, the mind of the seven goes places other numbers rarely attain. His imagination is vast and powerful, which helps to guide him into the spiritual stratosphere few people ever reach, but it is always mental and rational, never divine. The satisfaction and happiness he finds from mental explorations allows him to spend long hours in solitude and enjoy it. Yet, at the same time, he puts too much faith in the power of the mind, thereby limiting the potential humans have in experiencing the essence of life, as it can be experienced only in feeling and not in words. It is said that if you can speak the Tao, you do not know the Tao, if you can speak the word, you do not know the word, life in its purest form can only be felt and experienced, never rationalized. For the seven to reach a height of spiritual wisdom, it must, as all others, travel beyond the limitations of the mind and allow divine silence to spill its secrets. It is the essence of the seven that most symbolizes our struggle to know and understand. 
As I've previously mentioned, my descriptions of the single-digit numbers are extreme and no human being exists who reflects only one number. I am trying to convey an intuitive and mental connection with the personalities of the single-digit numbers. An understanding that eventually brings you to know numbers not because you have memorized a string of attributes and traits. But because you know each one like you would a close friend or family member, to the point that you can predict how he or she would respond under certain circumstances. To find out what secret store, where you click here to get your free instant and extremely accurate numerology reading you will likely be amazed at what you find out and for more numerology tips tricks and tutorials be sure to click the subscription button right here so that you don't miss out on future videos, on future videos.